All right, guys, how are you? I didn't film not one thing today. It's the end of the day and uh, Oliver is drilling out the swedged on brake drums for the, uh, these are just some old like 40 Ford brake drums. I think I'm through this one. Okay. I didn't want to over drill it, obviously. You can kind of see that it's through that, what looks like a outer layer. Yep. And I probably slightly scratched underneath, but I, okay. it's probably not an issue, right? Eh, try to go less. Less is more. Less is more. You know, because if you cut it and then when we go to push that out, even if there's a little bit of metal left over, it'll still kind of be able to get pushed out, you know? Because really it's just, it's that little swedge there that's holding it. So, you know what I mean? Like how how the wheel stud kind of goes through. Now this should be able to pop right out. So even if there's like a little bit left over in that, in that edge, it'll break free. You can just do it in the press. The idea is just to get it. It's, well, yeah. I mean, how thick is this metal? Mm, it's a little thinner than that. It's probably, I don't know. Probably a little less than eighth of an inch. Um, I have a drum around here somewhere. No, I don't. I threw them away. They're at the scrapyard. Be careful this doesn't catch and want to swing around and take off your arm. tell me one time that the drill press is the most dangerous tool in the shop because it's it's a the tool that's least respected I think I think this one went kind of kind of kind of heavy. All right. So and I just don't want to take any material away from the hub itself. Sweet. Matt has successfully rebuilt another starter. Big starter guy. For all your SR starter yeah, rebuild I've, needs. Uh, I've torn it apart three or four times now. Yeah, so it only takes three or four times. So if you have some extra time and some extra money for shipping, send all your starters to Matt Brown. Ethan will do all of the inspection and cleaning of them. So, these little guys right here, I think are called brushes. Those are your brushes. I think, oh yeah, but anyway, they're all supposed to be about this size, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah. I got these two that are completely like kaputs. So it's like a hot dog in a hallway. Yeah. So your commutator, which is this thing, spins. The brushes are supposed to touch the commutator. Yeah, damn communists. Um, but but so they weren't, and I thought, because these two are equally as, as ground whooped. down, I guess, I thought it was okay until I pulled apart my, uh, my dual cam starter. I had one off my dual cam KA from a long, long time ago. And the brushes are all the same length. They're all this length. So this mm -hmm. is the same part. So I ended up just swapping it out. We're gonna see how it works. All right, so if you have an SR and you have a starter problem. Or a KA. Like or a KA. KA. CA is probably the same thing. RB, hit me up. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> well, hit them up. Send your starters out. You might not get them back. But we got this nice name tag Jeremy made for me. It's got trains on it. Matthew Brown. Matthew Brown. Anytime there's the ability to put trains on something, that's bigger than Thomas the Tank Engine. So, I don't know, I got a label maker and there were some trains on there. So Matt got Matthew. Matthew Brown and some trains. It starts. Oh yeah, it starts great. Listen to how fast it cranks now. your starter motor rebuilding needs. The Matt and Ethan show. Did Ethan have anything to do with 
rocket starter. Morally supporting me while I was doing it. We also investigated why my other starter sounded like. Yeah. What was it? Uh, oh. I'll show you. Okay. I'm gonna... Like SC versus the normal one. Oh, yeah. That's why. I can't wait to clean this bench tomorrow. I can't wait to get this it bench so dirty. Shorter. So it's gonna take you all day to clean it. No, it won't take me all day to clean it. You wanna bet? No. I'll make it so dirty. So what are we looking so here's at here? a scoop. This guy right here, these two guys, look at the gears. Are, look they, at, are they the same starter? They are, yes. No, no, yes, yes, no, this one, yes and this no. This one looks like it's missing some, some something. This is an SR starter, this is a K starter, but internally they are the same for the for dual cam and SR. So, but here's the thing, look at the gears on here. Look at how much, like, these teeth are sharp. They're completely sharp, they're worn down. These ones are like, a lot more um, rounded. They have more body to them, I guess you would say. A full body. Full tooth. body. Yeah. So these things, they would sometimes it would it wouldn't be able to spin it because they're so sharp. Yeah, and ground down. They would grind. You go. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So nice. Yep. And, w and this does what? The planetary oh. gear setup. What is that for? Uh, dude, I don't know. All I know is that spins that, and then that spins, and then it spins this guy, and then it kicks this guy out too. Whoosh. Yep, mm. something like that. Again, for all of your starter motor <laughs> rebuilds. <laughs> Hit up Matt Brown. You just hammering on it with this one? I don't know, is that the sheet metal? Yep. <sighs> Ethan, I heard you're buying a new car. Yeah, tell me about it. I don't know. Matt Brown knows more about it than I Hey, know. viewers at home, do you remember that 180SX I brought in the other day? That black one? It's not that one, but it's almost identical. Yeah. And it's in Canada. Don't tell everybody. They're gonna somebody else is gonna scoop it up. Nah, they don't. They, they don't know who it not is. Canada. Yeah. Not in Canada. You got it on lock. It's don't. in North America. Oh. <laughs> we might have to speak French when we go get it. That'll be oui. fine. Ethan speaks French. Wee <laughs> wee! Oui, oui. That's all you gotta do. I'll curl a mustache up. <laughs> Bring a baguette with me. <laughs> ah! <That's all. laughs> okay. What, what, what money do they have So in what you're France? saying is it's, 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 uh, it's in Montreal, if they're speaking, if they're French. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where it is. You, oh, okay. Could so be they, they could like French Canadians. Fra it could be fr France town, Ohio. Okay. 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 I so that's where it is. Anyway, so it's a 180. Mm-hmm. It's black. It's black. It's got a CA in it. It has a pig nose on it like it should. Shadow's car has a shark nose. Somebody updated it back in the 90s for some reason. But this one's like a true... It looks like my car. It looks like my car, but black. Okay. They have the same arrow on it. Or at least they have the same wing on it. It doesn't have any... doesn't have side skirts and stats. Hey, don't touch that. We know. Where's your front bumper, huh? Where's uh, your fender? I don't huh? even need a front bumper. Oh yeah. I'll race you right now. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Ethan, was this the car that caused you to want to get a 240 as well? Um. I don't know. I thought they were cool. The format. No, no, actually, I don't think so. I, Matt and Ethan are cousins, basically brothers. Our dads are fathers, but we're, we're, we're Your dads close, are like, the brothers. same. Your dads are the same. No, different dads. Yes, same mom. Different moms. Dads are brothers. Cousins. <laughs> okay. Or Matthew says distant relative. That was one time. Is a joke. Um. No, I'll tell you what happened. Ethan was in the Subarus. He got himself a 98 Impreza 2.5R. It was 98, right? Yeah. Yep. 98. World Rally Blue. World Rally Blue two door. We made the biggest mistake of buying a car in the middle of the night in Schenectady. We got it home, and it was a rock box. And then I tried fixing it, and at that point, I didn't know what I was doing. 
I mean, like, we put rockers on it and, like, quarters, but, like, and then the thing sat and it just got even rustier. And it's like, we're going to spend all this time and money on this car that you could go out down south and get, like, a way nicer one for way less money. And at that point, it was like, what are you going to do with it, you know? So then it sat. So then where's the, where's the story going? It's going into, uh, I may or may not have gotten Ethan into drifting. And then he wanted to buy like a 350Z or a BRZ, the smart choice. And I said, no, 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 no. Get a 240 because they're so much better. They are. And they're so much cooler. And they have soul, which they do. Yep, 90 style. But it's a lot of effort to put an F13 together. And then. Granted, his car is definitely way better than a 350Z and an FRS and all these other cars, but. Ethan's car. Ethan's that you're talking car. about. Yes. It just needs it's definitely not blowing up right now. I heard I heard it had to get towed from the track the other day. Yeah. yeah. Knock knock. <laughs> so you got home and it just started up and it was all good, no rod knock. Oh yeah, no, it, 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 Dude, whoa, whoa. The car's I'm gonna fine. roll right off right. and then it's gonna go through no, the yeah, door. It's got a slight rod knock. Um Yeah, it seems like to be in middle cylinders. Yep, so we're gonna kind of address I that. I was really hoping it was a BTC. It's not. His is also, his is a, he has a notched up SRD, so it's a non-turbo S14 motor, so it's got VTC, it's got an adjustable cam gear right here. Okay. Different SR, but still SR. Updated SR. Updated SR. You guys are like a wealth of knowledge, of SR and S13 knowledge. Yeah. You know it all. I don't know it all, but I know a lot. Ethan, does Ethan know more than you? Um, I don't know, that's debatable, Ethan knows a lot. Do you guys just like talk about it all the time? Just sit around, and talk, talk codes. Oh yeah, dude. RPS thirteen, KRS thirteen, PS thirteen, S thirteen, RMS thirteen. This is an RMS thirteen. If you didn't know, it's a USDM hatch. And what's in Ethan's car? I, I actually don't know. I, I think it's just RS thirteen. Maybe. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. Don't put me on the spot. I don't know this. All right. He's got your checking. You don't know the engine that's in your own car. Oh, the engine? Oh, the chassis code. I'm We're sorry. going over chassis codes here. See, I, it's kind of like an A86, or if you have an actual A86 and it's JDM, that's an A86, and then there's the A85, which is the, the single cam, but we technically didn't get the A85 here. We got the SR5, which is different, but it's also an A86, but the real A86 in the US is an A88. Remember last time we were over to Celica stuff? And yeah, we were a doing TA 22 and a TA 23 and an R RA 28 and 29 and RA 27. What the differences are? And there's like an RA. No, there's like a TA 20 through 24 is like the coupes and the 25 through. It goes like 20, 26, 27, 28, 29. What did you figure out with the the T code? The T code has to do with the engine. It has like a two T, two TC or whatever. Or, like the the R A twenty nine is a the A stands for Celica the R stands for the, an R series motor so I would have had a twenty R yeah is that right yes sounds good yep that's right it's a good thing you know this stuff I don't know I'm I'm learning the good Still. thing is your car starts now it does start it sounds amazing. These always sound like they're they have a dead battery. Why is that? I don't know. Every single SR goes. I I don't know. That's a question for God because it's his motor. This here? God's motor. Yeah. Should probably get the junk of rubber out of here. That is fine. You know what I do need to do? What's that? I need to get some oil. Get some, yeah, get some oil. Get some drip prep no, so my lower oil pan leaking again, and I should probably fix it in Fort Lock City. But you gonna get a mirror? I've been trying to find one. I can't find one. Where is this one? It's broken in my back seat. Oh. Remember hitting the deer? That night we were here at like. Morning. You didn't hit a deer. That was doing. You were just just driving. Yeah, the deer went hard. this. It went. Bam! Slash that, smash that, and then it did a whop, whop, and it like, you know, did oh, this, I didn't did that. See that. Yeah. And is and this is what? This is like, per, this is 
oh, this is rubber. Yeah, I, I ran some wheels that were too wide at a drift event and they like burned all this. It was like way worse, but then I ran out of penetrating oil to get all this stuff off. So here we are. This is paint for the viewers at home. I, that's the first thing I ever did. Ever? You well, for like graphics, yeah. This is some sort of Japanese inspired yes. rising sun heart. Yes. It's like an emo. Fun fact, fun fact. I saw a car in Japan in an Adam LZ video like six years ago, five, six years ago that had this and I thought it was so cool. It was either a JZX100 or an SL80, one of the two. Okay. But yeah, I think it was JZX100 that had this and I'm like, that's cool, I'm gonna copy it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The new car is gonna have that when I redo this car. I'm gonna keep it, the 86 is gonna have that. That's your thing. It's my thing now. That, so that's gonna be a Matt Brown. Sure, yeah. Original. Yep. My Geo even had the rising sun on the gas. Even though it's not original because you not saw original. somebody else do it. Cut that cut that out. It's, <laughs> it's a Matt Brown original. Yeah, it's a Matt Brown original. Yeah. We got Bongo, like you know, Kaplan Bongos. Do you have that tattoo? Yeah, I where, do. Where is it? Drop a comment down below. Where do you think I have that cat tattooed on my body? Let us know. If you're right, we'll uh, send you a free starter motor. We'll send you a free picture. A free picture of uh, of, of, uh, of your starter motor. Oh, I was gonna say where my tattoo is. Oh. Yeah. All right, only man. How's your foot finder going? Oh, I forgot about that. Matt started a foot finder. I have not yet. Oh, I you was didn't push to do it because it's uh, some, I got some feet that phew, tell you what, boy. In today's economy, phew, it was a stock market. You know? Your feet are uh... Yeah dude. I'm making making the bread. All the bread. Alright. I have to wear a size 11. If my big toe wasn't so big, they'd be a size 8. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? <laughs> he's got a, he's got a giant, giant toe on him. <laughs> he's got toes. <laughs> he's got toes. He's top song. He's got toes. He knows how to do. So nobody gives you crap for having this battery in the not not sealed. No, they don't care. It does leak a little acid though. Should probably take care of that. Yeah. Okay. Mhm. Mm yeah. Nobody cares. Oh, here's my mirror. Oh yeah, it's nice. Is it repairable? No. The the metal inside is snapped. Can you fix it? I don't think so. So. It's not repairable, so you can't fix it. Correct. You should keep that. Oh, yeah. If it works out for something. Oh, 30 years ago to a swap meet. Yeah, I broke an X13 here. $35. I got it for an X13. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yep. Got yourself an HKS. HKS? You know, I can get you a manual mirror if you want. Ethan, you got mirrors? Good question. The one that's on your car. Wait, what about the doors? Didn't the doors have them? Are those manual? They're manual. Are and they? also, they're destroyed. So yours, these are power mirrors? These are power Wait, mirrors. Wait, yeah. wasn't, wasn't I was going to say, your... Wasn't my passenger side a power one? And yes. I needed a manual. Does it matter yeah. that much? Just Couldn't you just put it on the car and then have it? I could, a... but here's the problem. Well, I, have, I, I, have, I have... Even if, if that, like, that's fine. The problem is all the mirrors I have don't have, like the ones for the passenger side don't have glass on them. Oh. So, I mean, I'll probably put one on for the You could just get one of those just... pieces of glass from Advanced Auto Parts. It, it's like, oh, you know what it I looks like do? a, it looks oh, like okay. a, I should put it looks some, like I should a put fun house there, mirror. And then put something silly as the, or something goofy, something absurd. A, a, a heart rising sun? No. No. Not like, I don't know, the Blues Brothers or something? On your mirror? Yeah. So it always looks like they're behind me. I can put a picture of every Camaro Mustang and Challenger right there. <laughs> cause, cause you're out in front. Oh yeah, more down front is he didn't tail lights, brother. <laughs> Let them know what's up. That's our Tony. Bah, 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 bah. Ooh, Bondo's curled up. Yum, 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 yum. Jeez. These gonna be for sale on your website? Mm-hmm. Got a little bit of 
green on them. Yep. Remember that time when this bay was nice? I remember that time before the bay was even nice at all. When it was all rusted as shit. Mm -hmm. Viewers at home don't know how nice this car was at one point. This car was very nice at one point. It's still nice. It's just very used. It's very beat up. It like like that didn't look like that right there. No. This didn't look like this. That didn't look like that. How did that happen? Okay. Is this two different things? No, it's the same thing. I got hit so hard to push that side over. That's why the hood's on the wall. Were you there when this happened? Were you I was in the car. car. Oh jeez. Yeah, I got hit. <laughs> yeah. You know, for my first accident, I would say it wasn't that bad. Good. Yeah, we we both. I was more okay. like more upset about Matt Brown's car than anything else. Yep. Mm -hmm. The good thing is, it was hit and fixed in and the, the same night, in the same day, and then it didn't really even look that bad. No. And then Literally, like, what, the next it was day, three o'clock in the morning, because then you paint, you came in and painted it that morning. Mm -hmm. And then that, and then got on the trailer, and then did a 360 with a truck and trailer on the <laughs> yep. highway. Yeah, which I was also uh, front row for that. If you, you want to car? hear the story about me doing a 360 on I-90 with a truck and trailer, go to this video here. It's the one with Jared DeAnda. Go to this video here. <laughs> it's a good story. Matt did a uh, almost almost crash real bad, but it wasn't that, that bad. I'll Finish never forget truck. your faces when they flipped oh, around. Me and Judd, like. He got out of the truck and he just was, he couldn't stop like panting. Truck trailer. He spun a truck and trailer around 360 or more. 180. No, it was 180. Just 180 he completely to truck and blocked trailer. the entire road. Nobody could get by. And he didn't really hit anything. He hit a bike, the bike rack on the car in front of you, right? The car was in the right lane. I, it, 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 yeah. All right. Matt, I was in the left lane. Car was in the right Matt lane. will not be driving my truck and trailer ever. Why do you think I uh, remember how that time I bought a truck and trailer and then I'm like, man, this thing's a piece of shit. And I'm like, I don't really want to tow with this. So then I sold that and bought a three-car trailer. Now I just have somebody else tow me around. So Matt has a three-car trailer, no truck. And he's never driven the uh, the, the three-car trailer. Nope. Ever. That's Taylor's job, big dick trucking. Nope. Um, if you guys are looking to get towed or hauled, hit up big dick trucking. Yeah, I'll put big dick trucking's uh, handle and inf <laughs> information in the, in the uh, description below. Most ass marauder here. Checking in. That's his that's a CB. Yes it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn four, we gotta gotta uh this this is this is just, just, you got your ears on. This is mustache marauder, you got your ears on. Oh man. It's funny. Well mm. I'm gonna go eat dinner. Okay. I'm gonna go, uh... Have fun. Alright, cool. Yeah, you just reminded me I haven't eaten anything today. Wanna go get food? You know where you guys should go? You guys should go, both of you should go get chopped cheeses from the, from the yeah, hood store. Yeah, well, you know, and the thing is, at this time, it's kind of scary. It's sketchy. It's very, it's very sketchy. sketchy. What I did today is I called, it's called City Market, I called, and I said... It's called Bodega? It's called, it's called City Market. Oh, I never knew so that. So you call City Market and say, Hi, this is Matt Brown from 1945 Speed and Custom, the shop that builds the old cars. And the guy will go, yeah, 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 yeah. And you say, I'd like to order two chopped cheeses, please. And he'll say, okay, five minutes. And then you drive over there, have Ethan sit in the car, and then you just run in, pay, and then run out. Yeah. Or, and they have cheap energy drinks, too. Yeah, Get you yourself see, Oliver's been drinking all that stuff. It's on the box. We go look over there. Are you popping out of there? What is this? Oh, rip it or something? Where's he get this? Dude, I don't know. Rip it? Rip it. F-bomb. Energy. Cool. Energy fuel. We haven't changed our packaging since 1997. Rip it, energy fuel. F-bomb. It's... Oh, you know what? Pear is great. There's a whole pack of fruit gushes. It smells like, uh... It smells, it smells like Bang. like that, what do you call it? Mr. Jack, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde energy drink or whatever? That's what it smells like. Oh, it just smells like, you know, it does smell like the, the Punch Monster from like seven years ago, the Dumb Edition Monster. 
Yeah. All right, guys, that does it for today. Uh, if you didn't know about Matt Brown and Ethan, now you do. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys tomorrow.